problem encounters. Enjoy the lighter side of the study of astronomy. Look at the stars while listening to your favorite music from the past and the present, all in stereophonic sound. These interesting astronomical light shows can be seen every Thursday night at 7 o'clock and 8.30 in the Planetarium, Room 20, Cowley Hall. Welcome back. Now, Terry, let's talk about your team this season and how they're doing. What, what's your team's record this season? Right now, we got a record of 5-11, and 11, which is not a lot to brag about, but we've played some pretty tough competition, and kids have played well. Okay. Have you beaten any intercollegiate teams? No, we haven't played any varsity teams yet. Oh, you, you just play the JV then, basically? JV and different club teams. Okay. Do you have a young or maybe an old and experienced team this season? Pretty young team. Some of our top players are sophomores, mm -hmm. and... We really won't be losing anybody after this year, and we got a lot of freshmen in this year, so a pretty young team. So you should have a tough program then next year. Yeah. If it's around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now how many players do you have on the club this year, and has the number increased or decreased over the last few years? It's definitely increased over, well, this year, over last year and the year before. We started out with about 45 guys right now for the team, and we kept 25 guys on the, the main team, and then we have another team that plays in the city men's league there's about 25 guys on there so we've got plenty of people involved in the program okay maybe you can mention a few of your top players offensive defense players well right now our top offensive players we've got a line of kevin kuzlik tim o'reilly and tom jordan who have been doing the major scoring for us some of our defensive players brad holcomb steve larson have been doing a really good job for us okay now i'm kind of curious and i'm sure a lot of the other people are who provides the club with their equipment? Does the university help you out at all, or is it just man for man? Mainly each player is responsible for his own personal equipment. The club provides them with helmet and uniform. But anything other than that, their skates and all their pads and sticks, they're responsible for themselves. Okay, now you mentioned the club provides the helmets. How, how is the club getting their money? Well, through fundraisers and private donations, we've been able to purchase all the equipment that they need. Okay, basically, how do you get the funding, though? Well, we're funded through SACSI. It's a Sports and Activities Club Council through student activities. And this year, they gave us a budget of $8,000. And that mainly goes for ice time and some travel and referees for our games. But other expenses than that, we have motels, uh, meals, and lodging. So, um... We have to raise quite a bit of money on our own. We run on about a $16,000 budget, so we have to raise half of it ourselves. Okay, how do you raise the money yourselves usually? What do you try to do? This year we had a program where we sold advertisement in our game program, and that uh, made us about $1,500, and we also went out and solicited private donations for the team. Those are our two main fundraisers. Okay, now you mentioned earlier that if your team became a collegiate team, you'd be in the W, what conference was that again? WSUC. WSUC. And would you be playing like Eau Claire, any of those type of caliber teams? Right. Oh, those you would be in that conference? They're varsity teams, yeah. Okay. Now, would your team ever get a chance to play maybe against a Division One school, maybe like Wisconsin, North Dakota, that type of school? That would be several years down the road. I think this area would have the potential to develop a Division One hockey team, but it's going to take several years to develop it. Uh, right now, in the WSUC, they would be playing under NCAA Division II or NAIA, so they wouldn't get the chance to compete with Wisconsin or any other Division I schools. Okay, could you set up maybe a scrimmage against uh, Wisconsin JV? or Probably with their JV team, that wouldn't be any problem, but their varsity would stay above our caliber. It would. Okay. Who provides officials for your games and if you're a club sport? Well, we pay for the officials ourselves out of our budget through Saxe or our fundraisers and with the caliber of hockey around here being what it is we have to go to rochester or the twin cities to get referees so it's quite an expense for us okay well maybe now you could just sum up the future of the team what holds in the future for this club right now this week things are pretty up in the air because we were approved for varsity for next year and then it got pulled out from under us so we have to go back through Saxe and student senate to become a club again and also get our budget. Uh, 
they had set aside $12,000 for the varsity team, so we're trying to get that $12,000 to fund the club. And if that goes through, we'll have a team again next year. But if that doesn't come through, I don't think there will be hockey on this campus next year. Oh, well, it's too bad. Uh, how's your attendance been? Has it been really good? Pretty good. We have got a, a lot of people at all of our games at home. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today, Terry. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Thanks and for having me. Hopefully the team will be around next year, or at least the club in that level. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Well, thanks a lot for joining me tonight, Terry. It was Thank you. Glad having you. We'll be back right after these messages. Hi, having problems at school? The Counseling and Testing Center at Wilder Hall can help you deal with any personal or academic problems that you may have. The center offers services such as tutoring, self-development program, and a human development program. There are also counselors available to see to your individual needs. To make an appointment, contact the center secretary at 785-8073. If the chant of USA is to be heard from a player from the University of Lacrosse, then the lacrosse club must become an intercollegiate sport. And maybe, just maybe someday, one of these players can be an Olympian or possibly even a pro. This has been Rich Wyman with WRHA TV Sports Special on the Ice Hockey Club.